Hey guys, so I wanted to do a really sort of quick and easy out of space look. I wanted to use a little bit of sparkle and I'll be using the products from the November Glam Bag, which is so pretty, so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. So skincare wise, it's always important to have your skin looking as fresh as possible. So I'm gonna start with the skincare. It's super important and it's actually one of my favorite parts because the better your skin is, the better the makeup will look. So in order to get a really nice smooth surface for my skin, I actually used the Acura Brightening Facial Scrub. I used this last night, but I'll show you the consistency of it. It's really good for all skin types and it just helps to brighten up your skin and give you a really smooth surface, you can see there. Um, I don't wanna use it again and get my skin all raw. <laughs> so since my skin has been exfoliated, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a mask. So this is the Albertini Warm Love Pumpkin Exfoliating Mask. So it's just going to help to uh, smooth the texture of my skin so that way my makeup can go on a lot more smoothly and more flawlessly. So now that my skin is all exfoliated and brightened and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Liani Eco. So this is the Go Away Gloomy Day, and it's a serum. So what it helps to do is just soothe and hydrate the skin. It has honey and vitamin E, so it's anti-aging and very moisturizing. So now that my skin's all cleansed and prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Figs and Rouge. So this is a mattifying emulsion and a pore refiner in one. So it just mattifies my skin and it helps to refine and minimize pores. So now that my skin is prepped and primed, I'm gonna go ahead and add my foundation. So I'm using the Bliss, it's called Just a Little Tint, and it's oil-free with SPF 20. I just want something a little bit radiant and I want something more sheer and natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up my under eye area. I'm using two different shades. So these are the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealers. I'm using Medium Sand and Tan Deep. So I like to mix the two and uh, that just gives me a really great perfect shade. One's a little bit, one's more of my skin tone and then the other one is a little bit light. So I just mix them together to get the perfect sort of brightening shade for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Bliss Buildable Powder Foundation, and this is in tan, and I'm just using this in the areas where I wanna be a little bit less shiny. Good, good. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the skin for a bit and go on to the eyes. So I'm actually gonna start with a ColourPop eyeshadow, and this is in Thirsty Girl. It's so pretty, so sparkly, bronzy, and it just looks amazing and works with my galactic theme. I'm taking this up to the crease and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with a fluffy blending brush. So once I have my brows and my shadow on, I'm gonna go ahead and add a navy gel eyeliner. It's from Beauty Basics. It's super smooth, super creamy, and the color is gorgeous. I'm then gonna go ahead and take an eye crayon. This is from the same brand, Beauty Basics, and this is in Sahara Gold. It's so pretty and you can use it as an eyeshadow or a highlighter. From the same ColourPop Blitz collection, I'm using Valley Girl. It's a really creamy shade. I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. I'm also placing some right at the center of my lid for a little bit of extra sheen. I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes. These are from Makeup Forever. They are the Natural Impact number 304s. So once my lashes are in place, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes with the middle tone and a little bit of the peachy shade. With the same palette, I'm gonna go ahead and use the middle contouring shade and just a hint of the darkest shade as well, just to sculpt my cheeks out a bit. But I'm not going heavy with this. I want this to be fairly natural. For a bit of a shimmery glow, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the Model Co Highlighting Trio. It's really gorgeous, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a mixture of the Champagne and Peach Bellini. For a flush of pink, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of the Makeup Forever. This is the HD High Definition Blush in 315. It's a blush cream, so it's easy to blend, and it just gives you a bit of an extra glow. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use the Bliss Thickety Thick Mega Volume Mascara, and I love the comb. It really just helps to separate and thicken my lashes. So we'll do that for the bottom. So now all that's left to do is lips, and I wanna keep it pretty sheer and pretty simple, so I'm gonna go ahead and add ColourPop Lippy Stick in Cookie. It's a matte shade, and it's flesh-toned, and it's just the perfect nude. I like to add Kiddo on top just to add a bit of extra color. So to finish the look, I am using the China Glaze. This is Travel in Color. It's just a really shimmery, neutral glitter, and I think it just adds a little bit of something interesting to your nail. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a roll-on perfume oil. This one is from Demeter Fragrance, and it is from the Orchid Collection. It's called Twilight Orchid, and it smells so good. It has a little bit of ginger in it, and I think it just adds to the starry, out-of-space theme. Oh my god, it's actually, it actually smells really good. <laughs> like, really good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, send me all of your November glam bag looks. I cannot wait to see. Make them as intergalactic and space themed as possible. Tweet me or tag me in your Instagram pics and I cannot wait to see you guys. So until next time.